everybody and welcome back to Lining Up Ducks. Today is budget day. We are doing our cash envelope stuffing today and we've had a few budget changes uh, that I want to go over with you that you're going to see a couple of different things in our budget this time that you did not see in our previous video. The first thing is we've got to get our rabbit fixed. She, you don't always have to get a rabbit fixed if you only have just, if you only have one and they're inside bunnies, but imagine all kinds of inappropriate rabbit behavior and marking and nipping. She's got to get fixed. So we've had to kind of rearrange our budget and put a lot of money towards her getting fixed this month and pause a couple of our envelopes that we already have a good start in. The other change that we had is Scott's raise came in, finally. Yay! It was a 5% raise and we're so excited, but our healthcare costs went up by 20%. So, what that means in our budget is the nice fat raise that I had done all of our, our annual planning for is now only $45 a paycheck. So I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm going to say thank you and take that $45 per paycheck and put it to the best use that I can. But we've had to cut a couple of things out of our budget and trim a couple of things down just to make sure that we're still saving everything that we had originally planned on saving towards uh, our RV fund. Let's take a look and see what this paycheck's budget looks like. Okay, so the paycheck I'm budgeting right now was actually the last paycheck in January. It is considered an extra check in a 26 pay period pay cycle. But since we still have to pay bills at the beginning of February, it's not really an extra check for us. We might end up being able to count one of our checks as an extra check in about six weeks when the pay dates readjust again. If this is your first time watching our budgeting videos, we have a 26 pay period pay cycle and we split up our bills throughout the year to balance out our month and make budgeting so much easier with moving pay dates. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it above so you can see how we separate our bills throughout the year. So I've got my budget sticker for this month and my planner and let's get into February, even though this check came in in January, it's going to be February's expenses, so it will go in January. These budgeting stickers are available in my Etsy shop, and they are super easy because it's just one sticker. All right, and so my next budgeting sticker will go right here when I'm ready to do that budget. Okay, this month's income sources are Scott's pay on 129 of 2366, and this includes his raise, and it's the lower amount for our 20% increase in our health insurance, which uh, is automatically drafted out of his check. And then he has his drill pay, which came in 842. And then I made some money on Etsy this month. Yay! My Etsy made $36. Yay! All right, that gives us a total income for the month, I mean, for this pay period of $32.44. Now our household expenses go here. As I mentioned before, if you are just joining us, please check out our splitting up your bills video to see how we balance our month. Our rent is actually $1,462 a month, but we save every paycheck, including our extra paychecks, $668, and put that into our month ahead bill account. Getting a month ahead of your bills is awesome, and it has really freed up our budget. If you're interested in seeing how we built our month ahead fund and how you can do it in your budget as well, comment below, and I'll be glad to film a video about it. Now we don't have any debt other than Scott's student loans, so our student loan payment goes in expenses, and if we were focusing on debt payoff right now, instead of saving like we are, we'd be putting our extra debt payments here in the extra debt payment section. We paused our debt snowball to 
change our lifestyle so we could save and pay off debt faster. So right now we're only paying our minimum payment. Okay, and because I made $36 for lining up ducks, that's an exclamation point, not a one. I wish it was. Um, I'm putting right now everything back into the business if it's um, a small amount like this because my organizing videos cost money to make and my Etsy shop, I have to have supplies to run it. So right now I am putting all, everything back into the business. So I have a line item for lining up ducks and that will be the $36 that I made there. So our total expenses for this pay period are $15.34. And if you remove that from 13, uh, 3244, my children stole my calculator, so I had to go ahead and calculate this and write it on a sticky note, leaves us 1710. Now here's where we have the changes for this pay period. Bobby needs fixing really bad. So where we had several line items for the kids' clothes and things like that, this time we only have a few line items for cash envelopes because I, everything extra is going towards Boppy getting fixed this month. Okay, our restaurant is $50 per pay period. Our groceries is 300. Now I already, like I said, this paycheck came in on 129. On the 30th of January, I did a Walmart pickup order. So I'm actually only going to put 190 in our cash envelopes. Also on the 31st was our family movie night, so we did $15 out of there, so we only have $35 to put in cash for here. Boppy is getting the most money at 86 in this pay period. Our house is 40. Family fun is 20. All right, our tithing is 200 per pay period. Oops. So this total right here for our cash envelopes is $4.96. And that takes us down to $12.14. Tithing total is $200, and that takes it down to $1,014. Okay, so sinking funds. These are funds that we don't clean out every month. These are things we're saving for. So the difference between a cash envelope, just a monthly budget cash envelope, and a sinking fund is every pay period I clean these out and start fresh at the pay period. Um, and then a sinking fund, these figures that I'm about to write here, these are things that we save up for. We will continue to carry a balance in these envelopes going forward. We may use some out of it here and there for gifts, um, for birthday gifts as an example, but these are going to be carried forward until that larger expense is needed. We are saving for a Disney cruise and slowly but surely we will eventually get there. Right now it's got $17 out of our bi-weekly pay. So that is a sinking funds total of $172 and that leaves us with $842 which is our RV fund for this pay period. So one other big difference you'll see in this budget because our health insurance cost went up 20% we had a line item in long-term savings for Sophie's medical trips out to Houston for her surgeries every three months. And that's something that had to go. We do have a nice um, account already set aside thanks to a generous gift from my brother that is helping with her medical expenses. So right now we had to pause on putting any extra money in there and we do have enough in that account to get us through another 18 months of surgeries. So we should be fine to pause that here. And like I said, we don't have any extra debt payments right now. So that leaves us with a zero based budget. All right, let's stuff our envelopes. All right, so let's see what we have in our, for our cash envelopes. So the 842 for long-term savings, I transfer electronically. And then all of the bills out of this column of expenses I transfer electronically into our month ahead fund. Our gasoline is transferred into its own account that has its own debit card so we don't have a credit card that we use gas for but it's it's easier than having to go inside as well with four kids in the car. And then my personal money and Scott's personal money we have our own accounts for those. You're going to see a few new envelopes this pay period. These are also available in my Etsy shop. 
I love, love, love these. This is now my oops money. So you'll see I have a line item for oops in my budget. And that's like your blow money. That's money that I keep with me and Scott keeps with him at all times. That way, if we are out and about and we need something that we don't have the cash envelope for, that way we don't pull out a debit card. And this is my take money to the bank. So if I do any purchases online, I, for example, I bought Boppy Hay last month. I pulled $23 out of her pet envelope and put it in this envelope and uh, take this to the bank on payday and deposit this money. All right, let's just go down the page. The first is restaurant and I have 35 in cash because I've already spent 15 on our family fun night. So 35 in our restaurant fund. And I'll flip it over and write a deposit of $35. I really should write deposit 50 and then take out the 15 that I already spent for our um, pizza and movie night, but I didn't think that far ahead. All right, our next one is groceries and I did my Walmart pickup, so I have 190 in cash, 150. 70, 90. Then our grocery envelope. This is 300 per paycheck. All right, so we'll do it this way. Deposit of 300, and then we had Walmart pick up of 110, which left us with 190. Next is Boppy. 50, 70, 80, 5, 86. Go to our pets envelope. She normally gets 23 per pay period. Today she gets 86. And these are just balances carried forward from the previous envelopes that I had. So you can see I had a $46 balance and I bought hay online, so that was 23. And then now we have a deposit of 86, which leaves 109 as the balance of this envelope. Next is our house fund, which is 40, 20, 40. And that is 40 per paycheck. All of these envelopes are available individually on my Etsy site. So if you see one you like, they're only a dollar on my Etsy site. This is one of my new envelopes, which is why all of my backs are blanks. Okay, and the last one in this category is family fun. That is $20. Here we go. I love keeping these in a binder like this, but Scott never puts them back in the right order and he doesn't particularly love this, so I may have to change how I do it. All right, now for our sinking funds. Our car repairs is $50 per paycheck and $1,300 is the sinking fund that we're saving for towards for the entire year. So right now we have $100 in there and we're gonna add 50 to it. And our car tags is 15. So a 10 and a five. is 15 per paycheck. We're saving a total of 390 for the year and we have 125 as the balance in this envelope and just added 15 to it. Okay, birthdays is next, which is 20. That's our gifts envelope. That's a sinking fund we save $520 for the year for and that's everybody in the family's birthdays, including extended family gives this envelope a $60 balance. Christmas is 46, 20, 45, 46. Okay. 
So we have 97 in there now, which gives us 143. I shop for Christmas all year long because I find I can get better deals and get more free things for Christmas. Easter is 10. There's already 20 in this envelope. Halloween is three. One, two, three. We're saving a total of $50 for Halloween this year for all six of us. Then we have swim lessons, which is 11. 10, 11. Don't have a balance in there either. Let's see what's in this envelope. Um, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 137. Yeah, there's 137 already in this envelope and we are saving. Oh, wait, oh, look what I found. There's 142 in this envelope. So balance in this one and a deposit of $11 gives us 153. All right, 17 for our Disney cruise. It's five, 10, 15, 16, 17. Just back here. All right, and this last $25 is my oops money for the month. And it goes in this envelope, which goes in my wallet. All right, that's it everybody. I've got my cash envelope stuffed for the pay period and ready to go. If you saw our last video, we are doing a spend free February. So that means that we are hoping to spend no more than $25 on our grocery budget per week, eat through our pantry, or as Jordan Page calls it, shelf cooking, and really save a lot of money in our envelopes this month for our RV fund. Check back on our next budget and cash stuffing video to see how much we saved in the first half of our no spending month. Thanks so much for watching y'all. See you next time.